Day 21. Take your time. I'm in no hurry. In this dialogue, Carlos reassures Nina that she can take the time she needs to complete an assignment, explaining that take your time means there's no need to rush. Nina is grateful for the understanding, emphasizing the importance of doing thorough work. Here comes the dialogue. I'm sorry, but it might take me a while to finish this assignment. That's okay, Nina. Take your time. I'm in no hurry. Take your time? Does that mean I can do it slowly? Yes, exactly. It means you don't need to rush. Thank you, Carlos. I just want to make sure I do it right. And that's the best way to do it. Quality is more important than speed. I appreciate your patience. I was worried I would hold everyone up. No worries. It's better to have it done correctly than to have mistakes because of rushing. You're right. I'll make sure to double-check my work. Perfect. If you need help, just let me know. I will. Thanks again, Carlos. You're welcome. We all need a little extra time sometimes. Day 22, by any chance. In this dialogue, Oliver uses, by any chance, to ask Emily for directions in a polite and tentative manner. Emily asks for clarification on the phrase, and Oliver explains how it's used. The conversation continues with Emily offering further help. Here comes the dialogue. Excuse me, by any chance, do you know where the library is? By any chance? What do you mean by that? Oh, it's a phrase we use when we're not sure about something and we ask politely. Ah, I see. Yes, the library is just down the street on the left. Thank you. I'm new in town and still finding my way around. No problem. Happy to help. Are you looking for anything specific at the library? I was hoping to find some books on English grammar. They have a good selection. I was just there yesterday. Perfect. I need to improve my English for a class. If you need any recommendations, I can show you a few of my favorites. That would be wonderful. Thank you. Let's go together then. I was headed that way anyway. Day 23. It was a snap. In this dialogue, Anna describes the test as a snap, indicating that it was easy for her. Miguel asks for clarification on the phrase, and Anna explains that it means something was very simple to complete. The conversation then moves towards cooperation and mutual help. Here comes the dialogue. How did you find the test today, Anna? It was a snap. I finished it with time to spare. It was a snap? What does that mean? Oh, it means it was very easy for me to do. Uh, I see. I found some parts challenging, especially the last question. I'd be happy to help you review that part if you like. That would be great. I want to do better next time. Sure. Understanding the tricky parts makes the next test easier. Yeah, practice always helps. Exactly. Let's meet up after school and go over it together. Thanks, Anna. I appreciate it. No problem. It's good to help each other out. Day 24. The true cream of the crop. In this dialogue, Lucy learns from Carlos what the true cream of the crop means. It's a phrase used to describe the best or most outstanding members of a group, often in terms of quality or ability. Here comes the dialogue. Our team really did an excellent job on this project. Yes, I heard Mr. Thompson say we were the true cream of the crop. What does that mean? It's a compliment meaning we are the best of all the groups. Oh, like the top performers? Exactly. It comes from farming, where the cream rises to the top, indicating the best quality. That's a nice expression. I'm glad he thinks so highly of us. He should. We put in a lot of effort, and it paid off. Do you think this will help us with our final grades? Definitely. Being seen as the best by a teacher is always good. I hope we can keep up the good work. With our team, I'm sure we will. We're all dedicated. Let's aim to be the cream of the crop in all our classes then. Day 25, I'll keep my fingers crossed for you. In this dialogue, Sophia uses the phrase, I'll keep my fingers crossed for you, to express her hope that Luis will do well on his driving test. Luis asks for clarification, and Sophia explains that it's a way of wishing someone good luck. They then talk about the upcoming test and the emotions involved. Here comes the dialogue. Tomorrow's the big day, my driving test. That's exciting. I'll keep my fingers crossed for you. Keep my fingers crossed? What does that mean? 
It's something we say when we hope for good luck or a good outcome for someone. Oh, like you're wishing me success? Exactly. It's like saying, I hope everything goes well for you. Thank you, Sophia. I've been practicing a lot. Practice is key. Just stay calm and remember what you've learned. I will. I'm a little nervous, though. It's normal to be nervous. Just take deep breaths and focus. I'll do my best. I really appreciate your support. Anytime, Luis. Let me know as soon as you find out the results.